Hello everyone, and welcome to another beautiful episode of Tokyo Dark. Last time I talked to the Yakuza. They were nice. Um, however, we have to go now to Akihabara. And we have to go talk to our lovely cat cafe friend. Alright. Oh. Wait, what? Why can't I talk to an invisible person? Interesting. Oh, well, let's just keep going. A tiny ramen shop. Wait, can't go in now? Can't talk to the collector? I wonder if those young girls ended up being okay. I feel like I got what I need and left them to fend for themselves. <sighs> if only I had more time. No point dwelling on it now. I need to go talk to Sachiko at the maid ca at the cat cafe. Let's go by the maid cafe though and see if uh, our girls are okay. Sometimes when I feel my mind drifting off, it sails right into those fluffy pancakes. If I manage to get a normal life, I will n eat nothing but cat-shaped pancakes for dessert. <laughs> For the rest of my days. No way I could cook, make them as good as they do here. Though, not unless I magically become a better cook. Whoops, got distracted by sweet, sweet pancakes. Need to go to the cat cafe and put all this nasty business to rest. Is the bookstore owner here? At Sushi's bookstore is still happening. All right. Oh, I gotta talk to Sachiko. This is gonna be unpleasant. Welcome back. I think Tomo remembers you. He must be appreciative of all your help to make him feel better. Although I've had to stop the deliveries of sashimi, even this smell seems to set off his bowels. Another quirk to an already quirky character. <sighs> Maybe... It's a sign you were right about the fish. Heh. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Tomo. Um, listen, we need to talk. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, why the serious face? What's wrong? Um. <sighs> you owe the Yakuza? How exactly does an owner of a cat cafe get mixed up with the Yakuzis? Huh? What do you mean? I met someone recently that gave me a contract with your name on it to sign. I read it, and it seems like you owe them quite a bit of money. Why? I've been around this stuff for a long time, and I can't figure out how a cat cafe owes that kind of money. Money? Yakuza? You're working for her? Why? I'm not working for anyone. All I've got is this contract in your name, and I want to know why. The truth is, this place isn't above board. Or it is, but it wasn't always. I didn't borrow the money or anything stupid. When I was setting up this place, I was trying to stay above water. But the building owner kept coming by to complain. And then these government types and health inspectors came knocking. Never realized how complicated opening a place like this in Tokyo could be. All those rules and regulations. All I ever wanted to do was help out the kitties and make people happy. Oh, you, when you look at her hat, it, you can see like little cat ears coming out of it. That's really cute, Sachiko. Good hat. Even then, she came by. Then she came by. Someone who loved cats as much as I did. She offered to help me smooth things over with everyone. I mean, I saw the tattoos and everything, but I don't think you should judge people because of how they look. I still don't. Mm, maybe, dis maybe suspend that belief when we're talking about gang members. And spies? 
I don't know. I'm not being spied on, I don't think. At least not by anyone who's, you know, not more so than any other American. There is no way I was going to stay open and keep my kitties if I didn't get help fast. So I accepted her offer, and things got better pretty quickly after that. The building owners stopped complaining, and all the permits fell into my lap. Maybe you think I was stupid, but most of the cats here would be stray or dead if I didn't get her help. For a while, I thought I was saved by a guardian angel. After all, she loved cats and was kind and friendly to me. It's been quiet, too. The business with Tomo's bowels was the first incident I've had in months. About two months after I accepting her help, when I was closing up the shop, some men showed up with a contract like the one you're holding. They said it was for services rendered or something like that. It wasn't much at the time, so I signed it. I owed her a lot, and I was doing pretty well. Only they kept coming back, and every time they came back, they had a new contract. Every contract, they wanted more and more money. It's gotten out of hand. I can't keep up anymore. Kasumi won't even see me anymore to talk about it. Hmm. You didn't really think you'd get a favor from the Yakuza for nothing. I didn't think they were from the Yakuza, Ito. God, weren't you listening to my freaking story? I wasn't being greedy, Ito. I just, I thought she was trying to help. <laughs> Helping the only way she knows how. Oh, That's so cute. Please, you have to help me. The amount of money they've asked for is out of hand. Alright, so from what I saw, that was 450,000 yen. Now, yen is approximately worth a penny. Approximately, it's not, you know, hard math. Quick maths. Um, so that would be approximately $4,500? Approximately. Of course, you know, I don't know the exact exchange rate off my, the top of my head. Um... It is pretty out of hand. So $4,500, even if it's like maybe once every two months, that's a lot of money. I'm doing well for now, but if they got their way, I'd be out of business. You have to tell Kasumi, please. Tell her that if this place closes down, all these cats, there will be no place for them to go. Poor kitties. They'd be put down. I, I can't support myself. I can't support them myself, rather. I don't think animal services would let me keep them. I couldn't live with myself if that happened. I'm begging you, Ito. Don't do this. I'm not gonna... Sh don't sign all help. I'm not gonna put these cats down. <sighs> Damn it. It doesn't matter what I need from her. I can't make you sign this contract in good conscience. Conscience. Hooray! I knew good would prevail in the end. Thanks. How'd you get up mix how'd you get mixed up with that woman? I need some information from her. You should be careful. I don't know about her, but her thugs are dangerous. So am I. I knocked out a cop with one punch. One punch <laughs> Last time they were here I heard them talking about Teach, having to teach a girl from another cafe a lesson or something makes me feel sick thinking about it. What else would you expect from guys like that? Breaking legs and twisting necks is all they're good at. Other than drinking and grunting. But, you know, they probably drink nonsense drinks like sake. It's too expensive for its own good. Call me naive, but... I don't get how someone can be so two-faced. When I started seeing her face in the papers lately, I couldn't believe it. Surely that ruthless woman they were talking about couldn't be the same Kasumi I knew, or so I thought. Guess it's like you said, Tiger can't change its stripes, right? Hmm. Maybe so. Or maybe you just wanted to use some sort of cat-related analogy. At any rate, you should probably get... 
be more careful with who you trust in the future. Sorry, I didn't mean to wrap you up in all this. But thank you for not making me sign. So what's your plan? <sighs> I'm not sure if I really have one. Maybe I can appeal to her kinder self? If she really is a cat lover, I'm sure she wouldn't want to see little guys get hurt, right? I'm actually going to think about trying to appeal to her logical side. After all, she is a businesswoman. And if you go out of business, she can't collect anything. Oh no, I've really gotten myself into trouble, haven't I? Maybe I should go instead. The contract was given to me. I better deal with it myself. Plus, I get the impression that being confined by the cops hasn't put her in a great mood. I'm sure you don't agree, but I still think there's something good in her. Sometimes I can't help but wonder if she's doing all these things if she didn't... She wouldn't be doing all these things if she didn't grow up into that life. And all the kitties loved her when they played with her. Cats are such good character judges. Um, I somehow don't think of animals correlates with her treatment of people. Ugh, I'm starting to suddenly feel queasy about going out there without the contract. Damn it, Ayami. You've really got yourself into one this time, haven't you? No point in doing it now. Oh, uh -huh. hi, Tomo. Um... And I can't run the Yakuza. I can't run Yakuza debt collections just because I'm in a tight spot. Take care. Don't worry. My kitties are never wrong in judging someone's character. Yeah, sure. I'll think of something, but I need you to lay low and maybe close up shop for a while until I sort something out. Ah. <sighs> Let's see here, 12 minutes in. Delightful. Alright, let's go talk to, uh... I hope this doesn't get someone killed. Mostly me. Because that'd be a game over. What are you doing? Go back. Honestly, little one, I don't want you to get hurt. Go home. Tomo! Do not follow me! Tomo, do not follow me. Tomo, buddy. I'm going to need you not to follow me. Otherwise, you're going to get murdered. Welcome back. I assume you took care of that little nuisance for me. I didn't have her sign it. I couldn't in good conscience ruin someone's life like that. What? Let me explain something to you. If I give you something to do, you don't come back until it's done. What? Do you think you're some sort of moral crusader helping out the little guy? What'd she tell you anyways? That she was a small town girl who couldn't keep up with the big meanies in Tokyo? Put it that way. I guess I do sound like I'm asking a bit much. Did she tell you all about the cats that kept escaping? Or the ones who wandered into nearby businesses? How about the heaps of trash that were piling up around the place? If it weren't for me, people getting people off her back, cleaning up the place. Those cats would probably be dead by now. What we have here, detective, is a trust issue. You are too quick to take the other side because of who I am, or at least who you think I am. I did get positive professionalism points for it, so... Pity, Kazu. Yes, boss. Take Ito outside and show her what happens when people disappoint me. Don't be too rough. I don't want a repeat of last time. Oh, and leave her face alone. I hate for someone to see a black eye and think she might be worthy of sympathy. Keep her jacket here. I like it. It's very chic. Did you know my friends? T Did you know my friends tell me when all the police raids are coming? It's pretty handy, really. As a matter of fact, there's one scheduled for tomorrow. I'll be gone, of course. But if they. Th were to find this jacket, well, who knows what they'd think. Would be a pity if someone recognized it. Kazu, escort her out. Good luck finding that stupid little girl. Oh no, Tomo. Hold on, Kazu. You know, who's this? He's, um, I guess a stowaway from the cat cafe? 
he is, huh? I see. I... I love him. What? Did we just trade a cat for the d for getting rid of this woman's debts to the Yakuza? <laughs> Look at his cute little squishy face. I can't have a detective beating around such a cute little face. What's his name? Uh, Beaten? Oh, um, I think his name is Tomo. Tomo? That's not much of a name for a man, is it? I shall call you Mr. Marshmallow. It's, uh, pronounced Marshmallow? Oh, whatever. Shut up. Um, thanks. Oh, Ito, lighten up. You're not a liability unless you start talking to your cop friends. <laughs> I'm not talking to my cop friends. And you wouldn't do that, would you? No, they likely wouldn't believe me at this point. Anyway, those fuckers can fry. <laughs> my thoughts exactly. So cheer up. How can you stay mad when looking at these big eyes and those little feet? I look at you and I see a woman whose priorities are all wrong, Ito. You don't appreciate what you have. Only what you're looking for. That is, until you find it. But then what? Who, what's left? With that said, I'm serious about one thing. If you don't... If you talk to any cops about my business, or, um, my affection for cats, or anything like that, I will break you. Can I tell them how you like your whiskey? Because it's the same way I like my whiskey. Kazu might pay a, a visit to your apartment and pick up where he left off. But who wants to think about all the logistics of dismembering and disposing of a detective's body when you got these cute little whiskers rubbing against your... Um, Sachiko was right. You do genuinely love cats. So why make her sign a contract that would end with her putting the cats... having to put the cats down? Sachiko isn't as perfect and cute as she seems. She might love her cats, but she has strange ways for caring for them. She owes me a great debt, and it's my right to collect it. If her cafe shut down, I'd make sure those cats have a home, though. I can't say I'd... though, I can't say the, say the same for the owner. This job is about tough decisions, not legal ones like you cops make. In my business, you have to sleep with the choices you make, and not leave them at the door when you hand... The case is over to the courts. <laughs> Mr. Marshmallow likes being picked up. Aw. He's pretty cute. I'm not sure if you meant for this outcome, but I have to say, you have some guts for coming back like you did. I thought you'd be another pushover cop to keep in my pocket. I underestimated you. And in doing so, I've given you information on one of my weaknesses. Hmm. It's funny, really. I spend so much time making sure I'm not seen as the weak woman that all these men expect me to, that I don't feel like myself sometimes. You understand... something I'm sure you understand quite well. Tell you what. I'll let you have that one little weakness of mine. It's only fair. I know so many of yours, after all. In a different life, maybe we could have been friends. Kazu, stand down for now. Ito, consider yourself lucky. I'll let you keep your jacket tonight. Understood, boss. Alright, forget the cat cafe contract. I'll get one of my boys to deal with it later. What is it you wanted again? I wanted to speak to Omega Company's president, Higashi, about a girl he signed up to his agency. Oh, that's right. Our missing agency president after one of his mini projects. What a despicable little man, I'll tell you now. I had no problem taking control of the business from him. I left him as president to keep a few of his clients happy. A decision I regret now. Um, she didn't kill him. Where is he? Unfortunately, I'm just as in the dark where he disappeared to as you, I'm afraid. A deal's a deal, though. While you were... Out, I got an address on one of his old hideouts and the code to get in. Oh, I know where this is going to be. It's going to be in the alley with Daiso and Butterfly Club. You haven't sent one of your stooges to check it out for you? Stooges? I like you. 
but don't push it. As I said, me and my men can't afford to be spotted right now, especially in an area getting so much attention. Special attention? Doesn't Kabukicho get enough attention on its own? Kabukicho is what it is, but this isn't in Kabukicho. This particular spot got its reputation and subsequently its extra police patrols a bit more recently. In fact, I hear there's still an ongoing investigation there, one you were in fact very familiar with. And the incident that happened? My condolences on the loss of your partner, Detective Tanaka, by the way. All the papers are rushing to make you out to be incompetent, or worse yet, some sort of psychotic, psychotic killer. Maddening, isn't it? <laughs> Get it? My friends in the police headquarters say you two were close. That's no way to lose someone you love. I suppose it's not much to ask what really happened. It's too much to ask what really happened. Was there someone there that night? Thanks on the condolences, but what happened on that night isn't exactly something I want to discuss right now. Suit yourself. Let's change the subject back to Higashi. He took up a bit of digging to find that address. Seems he was keeping a second hideout in Shinjuku under a fake name. Now that we know where he is, where it is, he probably knows too. I highly doubt he'd be stupid enough to stay holed up in it. But I also don't think he'd be smart enough to completely clear that place out before he left town either. There's probably something in that that would lead us right to him. Get what you want, then let Kazu know where the slime is so we can straighten him out. He'll get those fantasies of running away out of his head. The code to the door is 11235. It's the only keypad on the... Yeah, I know which one it is, alright? I wish you good luck finding your little girl, but remember you can't save them all, Ayami Ito. Trust me, this one, I'm not trying to save. Oh, and Ito? Thanks for bringing Mr. Marshmallow to me. Being holed up in one place for the last few weeks can be a bit taxing. And who doesn't love cats? Kazu, you love cats, right? Uh, I guess. You know... I remember he loves fresh fish. Fresh fish, huh? Sachiko sh certainly does have an eccentric taste. Kazu, go pick up su some sashimi. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna poop on her. Right away, boss. Oh well. I'm sure he'd still eat it. Mr. Marshmallow slash Tomo isn't exactly a smart boy. Kamakura, let's go to Shinjuku. Alright. I'll finish up my... Wait, let's see if the Butterfly Club is available to check out. Oh. Hey Daizo, can I talk to you? I cannot. Okay. That's fine. Oh, here it is. Oh, huh. It worked. Looks like Sumi's tip wasn't a lie. Enter. It's 11.23.5. Ugh, what a stench. I know that smell. Anyone who's worked in homicide knows it. Oh great, is it de a dead body? Wait, wait, wait. Open? Seems to be locked. I can't. Seems like the lock has been fouled off. Kick? It didn't move at all. Must be reinforced. Kick one more? Okay. Well that's not gonna change. I don't think this is the type of game where you can just do the same thing over and over and get a different result. Something's holding it put. That did nothing but hurt my foot. Oh, damn it. I do not like the look of this place at all. That's a problem. 
pick lock. Alright, what's this? Why is there a dead body? Let's start with the message. The word Ruby is written on the in blood on the wall. Ruby, which is another name for Reina, apparently. Oh, wow. That dude is super dead. This is the source of the smell, alright. The body's in pretty bad shape. Whoever did it took enough time to mutilate the corpse. The internal organs have been disturbed. Maybe removed. What's this? There's a paper with the name Higashi written on it. Did Raina do this? Oh, that's not good. Nothing's changed. Just a door. But that's the thing. I'm looking for a door. Nothing to see here. What's that noise coming from? I hear singing. Uh oh. Oh no. What's it? Oh god, what's gonna be in this door? Looks like something is trying to escape from inside. Rattling stopped. Why? Can I leave? I cannot leave. Oh well. Enter, I suppose we will. Let's look at these photos. Look at this photograph! Um, shots of various girls, all of them taken in this room. They don't look like professional headshots an agency would take. They all look so sad and young. Got a pretty good idea what these pictures were used for and the people, types of people they were sent to. Reina, so it's true. To think you were kept in a place like this, what happened to you? Probably terrible, dirty sex acts. Huh? Something's happening. You're back early. Y yeah, I uh, didn't feel well. I think I'll go to bed early. Ruby, don't ignore me. Lately it's been the same excuses over and over. I have a ghost headache. I don't ghost feel like it. I I don't know what you're talking <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Ruby, my sweet little Ruby. You think that one song was a hit? You can just stop working? That money's all gone, sweetheart. We spent it all trying to get you a record deal. Don't you think it's unfair to eat my food and stay here for free without doing any work? Ruby! Hey, stop crying! Stop crying! I'm talking to you! Please, I didn't mean it. I'll do another song. I'll make it up to you. I promise. I, I, I just don't want to. That's exactly why I'm setting all these meetings for you. You make the right impression with these guys and they'll take you places. Speaking of which... <laughs> He's turning a little bit into Dracula. I got a call... Little, I got a call a little while ago from Masa. Do you know what he told me? Uh... He told me you were being a little disagreeable with him last night at his place. You know that he's one of the best clients, don't you? The things he can do for you girls is, well, I shouldn't even tell you. I shouldn't even tell Boo. I sent Boo to him. He said there was something special about Boo. In fact, he said all of these girls here, he particularly wanted to meet Boo. I did you a big favor by making that happen. Then you compensate my generosity by sitting in a room crying and telling me you don't feel well, or whatever excuse. I, I, I couldn't. He tried to. I don't care what he tried to do. You, Boo should have listened to him. 
when I took Boo in, Boo were vulnerable. <laughs> Tiny girl who was already failing in school. But I saw a Boo potential. <laughs> Doesn't work like that. I could t already tell you how pretty you'd be when you were older. That's really creepy. I mean, that's all the <laughs> men care about, how I look. So what? You want them to care about your voice too? They like, care about your throat, isn't that good enough? You think I took you in because of how smart you were? You're an idol, you're supposed to be looked at. Most men fall over yourselves to meet a pretty girl, but you ruin it for everyone when Boo sit there crying. <laughs> no, this is actually really sad. Uh, she's kind of getting abused into, you know, being a starlet. She's getting Weinsteined, as we like to call it in the recent news. She's getting Kevin Spacey'd. That's not true. I don't think Kevin Spacey made anyone's career. What What are you doing? I'm sick of you looking at like an idiot, Ruby. You made me do this. Oh, this is gonna sound sad. This is gonna be sad. Let's look at the TV then. Hey! Look away. Look. Interesting. And it oh god. It started playing a song and it scared me. Alright, I'm gonna let the song come back on. Oh god, that scared me more than anything else that has ever happened. It was J-pop too. The scariest of genres. <laughs> okay, well I think the good news is Higashi is dead. That's a weird sound. It sounded like a door creaking and a girl laughing. Listen. Oh god, it sounds like crying. Oh, man, I really don't want to go into this door. What time is it? Oh, it's 3.32. Guys, I really don't want to answer this door today, um, but, uh, you know, stay safe, have fun, and never use your body to make it big? I really don't like the sound of people crying. Uh, remember, one of those things is more important than the others. Bye?